hey girl hey i haven't vlogged in so long and this feels so good my favorite videos to edit are always vlogs but i haven't had time to actually do a vlog so hey so we are about to go eat as per usual um i have some things to show you a little bit of fashion week amongst other things we're gonna go eat i'm bringing you guys along for the ride i also want to stop by tori birch so yeah let's go delicious as always we go to that spot very often if you have been following me and looking at my vlog since the beginning of the penny you've seen that spot <laughs> we've gone there a lot of times most of the time we've been outside but today was kind of cold so we went inside um, by the fireplace and it was cozy and delicious and now we're going to look oh my goodness my lips are ashy. I need to put on some <laughs> some lip gloss but now we're going to look for that Tory Burch purse. I'm trying to see that Tory Burch cat eye purse. I know there's a bigger one. They recently come out, came out with a mini one that I want to see in person because I don't want to buy it if I don't. Anyway, you guys know what I'm saying. So we're going to try to go to Nordstrom. Apparently they have it at Nordstrom. That's what they say. But if not, I'll try to go to a different Tory Burch store. I forgot I haven't really talked to you. If you don't follow my community page, you don't know that I end up getting my Dior purse in the mail. Let me show you. So I will show you a better video of it in a, in a different um, video, like a better uh, picture. But it's here, it's beautiful, it's shiny. I have all my stuff in it, all my cameras. I'm just so happy about this. This is so on trend, it's just, ugh. Okay, so the only problem with it, cracks right here. And it actually looks worse on camera than it is in real life. Do not mention, look at my nail, this is terrible. Um, you can see that there's little a little cracks here, but I almost feel like I can, my husband just walked in. I almost feel like I could get it fixed or I could get to the Dior little straps. Anyway, we shall see, not straps, scarf. We shall see and I'll see you in a second. These are the bags I was talking about in the video. They're cute. Oh wow, that's smaller than what I thought. But yeah, this one too. <laughs> My husband pointed it out, that's funny. Um, You guys, this is super cute. What? This is cute. No. This is cute. This is this is bigger than the one I have. Anyway, guys, this is super cute. It's definitely bigger than my the one that I have in um, the petite. You could fit more in here, and I think I want it. It also comes with this blue and this. If you love a neon, good grief! It's very cute. I wish I could see the big one, but this is good enough. This is cute. Oh yes. Love it. This is the new color way, I think, of this tabby. Am I missing it? Is pink a color? Did I miss something? Now look at this. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I just got this Dior purse, so I know I don't need a, a new coach purse. But I really think about that, Tori. It's so cute. I don't have anything MSM, MCM. <laughs> I don't know why I said MSM. What do you guys feel about this brand? I don't know. I think like it was big in my mom's day, like in, in the 80s, maybe the 90s too. Oh, this is cute, look how small this is. I don't know, I don't have not done MCM, but it's cute. This is that silver bag I had in my video, in this video, I'm sure I'm popping up on the screen. This leather feels amazing. Like I said, this is the Perringer Schuler white label. Perfect. Wow, that's great. That's a good price. I should have got it on that sale. Very nice. 
Brandon Blackwood in here. This is exciting. Look at this. I don't even know this man, but that is for some reason so proud to see them in Nordstrom. And I need my iris. I told you guys about her before. Look at this beauty. Lord have mercy. Beautiful. Love it. Let's go look at some sunglasses. These Key Australia glasses are kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. I love the fade. I love a good fade. These are cute. Wait a minute. And they're affordable. I like these. I saw these on sale <laughs> for like four or five on I think Essence and I'm glad I didn't get them because I don't think I like the, ir the iridescence of them. I do like the shoe. It's a beautiful coat. Smooth eighth grand, eight grand if you wanna if you wanna do it, but it's a nice coat for sure. Oh yeah, that feels good. That's good. Oh that's eight grand on sale. Okay, okay, okay. It's because it's a Laquan Smith. There's that green I was telling you guys about. It's very pretty. Hey girl, hey. It is not the end of the video. Usually when you see me with these glasses and sitting here, it's the end of the video. But I thought that I would pick up my camera and have you guys help me declutter some of my fragrances. It has gotten, in my opinion, out of hand. I have one body <laughs> and I don't love all my fragrances. If I loved and used all of my fragrances, I would keep them. But because I don't, I feel like I need to get rid of them. So we're gonna declutter together. Um, and then later on, we're going to dinner, and in a few days, we're going to see Jasmine um, for a little fashion week situation. So yeah, let's start with decluttering this fragrance collection. Okay, so this is all my fragrances. I have, in fact, gotten rid of a fair amount, <laughs> believe it or not. Still can get rid of more. My goal is that I have to sell a few before I get one. I just don't need it. Now over here not this but over here are the ones that i definitely don't need in my collection they're not that expensive and i don't feel bad about maybe getting rid of them or selling them for a few bucks this one i tried over and over again and people love this and i can't get with it my nose is not with it these i've had since god knows how long but they're super meh to me now so i'm definitely going to get rid of these over here is where it gets tricky I have Feb Delicious from Dior, and though I thought I loved it, <laughs> I don't reach for it. In fact, I had another one from Dior that I sold, and I really, really regret that, so I'm probably going to buy this again. I'm most likely going to sell the Feb and get the other one from Dior, go get it back. So, yes, that's one thing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it over here, because I know I want to do that. Mojave Ghost Ball de Afrique Love. This they don't make anymore and I'm devastated because I love it. I have a lot left, but I go for that so, so often. All my MFKs I love. Even though I love this, I don't, well, I like it. I wouldn't say I love it. I like it. I don't wear it that often. So should I even keep it? I, I don't know. This is not one of my favorites from Dior, but first of all, the bottle's beautiful. Second of all, it's a classic. Third of all, I got it the first year that I went to Paris because it was close to the time my grandmother had passed. And just a year before, grandma no, two or three years before, grandma had gone to Paris and she bought and wore the same fragrance. So that's just like an homage to my fabulous grandmother. I told y'all she was fabulous. Grandma had a nice little stash of fragrances herself. <laughs> um, I love all these Killians. I have no intention of getting rid of those. Oh, I love all of the, this is hard. <laughs> this, I got this because of Simply Aisha. If you're not following Simply Aisha, you guys, she's a plug with fragrances. She has all the information. When it, I'm telling you this smells so different, but also comfortable and ah, uh, 
Go to her page, she'll explain it more. That's one of my favorites. Thank you, Simply Aisha. I'm feeling like my collection is looking kind of basic. So I wanna get rid of some other things and bring in some more unique scents. If you guys watched one of my Christmas vlogs, I talked about this one, the Hypnotizing Fire. I didn't get the whole bottle because I knew that I wanted to get rid of some, you know, some fragrances here, but that is delicious. Delicious if you want to go smell it. You have to go smell it. I know they got another Parfums de Mali out, but I, I'm not buying it. I'm not smelling it until I get rid of some of these things. So, you guys let me know. What do you think? Is this too much? <laughs> Should I just... I definitely need to get rid of some more before I buy more. This is a much smaller collection than I used to have. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go through these. I will let you guys know what I get rid of later on and yeah. Hey girl, hey. I feel so off in this vlog. Like my hair needs to be done. Um, my skin, even though it's looking a little better, was a hot mess. Um, my nails need to be done, even though I got them done yesterday. just felt off the whole vlog so if you're new here <laughs> this is not how it usually is it's a little better usually I mean everyone has their off days and it's not my fault that my hair grew out right and I have to do <laughs> I have to do it over I just felt I felt off I get something called a structured manicure which I believe is when they use a builder gel as opposed to acrylic or is it the same thing I'm not sure you guys you guys will probably be able to tell me better than I can but it is supposed to be better for your nails and so far so good when they took off the builder gel yesterday my nails were perfectly healthy which was strange because you know with acrylics that's not what happens but I love them um, I cut them down a bit because I know they will grow out and yeah so anyway a few days ago I went to a fashion week event with Jasmine of Jazz and I at this event, which is very frustrating because I have videos of random people I don't know, boots and, and purses and all kind of fashion stuff. But the one thing that I wanted to get in there was me and Jasmine <laughs> and I lost that part. If you watch her video, you saw that we were together. 
Oh, anyway, super, super annoying. And now is the part of the video when I show you a few things that I bought. So I got this new purse from Brandon Blackwood. It's so pretty. I feel like it's gonna be really nice to go with golds and creams and other colors for the spring summer. They sent me a 20% off coupon and I was like, thank you very much. I will take part of that. And you know, it's the box bag. I love the box bag. In that throwback picture of me um, in Paris when I was talking about my perfume and my grandmother, I was also wearing a box bag and it was not Brandon Blackwood. It was maybe mango or something. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But that just shows that the box bag is like a classic bag that you will um, have in your wardrobe if you like them. That was many years ago when I was wearing that horrible outfit, but the bag was cute. <laughs> Same thing. So yeah, just wanted to show you that. I have a few of his bags, a, a good about, a good amount, honestly, of the bags. And I love this one. The other thing I got was this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Serum. I was really trying to get my skin back together. And like I said, it's coming back after the retinol debacle. But this, in conjunction with this product that I'm putting up on the screen right now because I forgot to bring it over here, really has been helping my skin like just relax and heal itself from me overdoing it on the retinol. So I've never used this before and I'm liking it so far. And I am supposed to be abstaining from makeup, but <sighs> Danessa Myricks came out with these liquid blushes and I was like, dang it man, I need to, <laughs> I need to try this. I got the one in Golden Hour because this color blush looks good on um, my skin complexion, like a dark brown. So I will try it. Let me see if I can put it on swatch it. Obviously you're not going to wear it that bright, you're going to kind of blend it in. But I think that would work really good for brown skin tones. They have all types of colors, obviously, from the lightest to the darkest. So if you want to try a Danessa Myris product, I love her face balm powder. Um, and I think that this would look really nice on top of it for a nice, easy, breezy look. That's really all I got this week. I have some things in the mail that I can't wait to show you guys. I showed you guys my Dior purse, so just hold tight. My goal, not this week or next week, and maybe not this month, <laughs> is to be able to do two videos a week. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I would like to do a vlog a week and then a fashion video of the week. Because in my vlogs, I'm able to share more than just fashion. I can tell you about the beauty I'm using. We can kind of talk about fragrance and we could talk about the other things outside of fashion. That's just as important as fashion and like add to the whole thing. And I kind of miss talking about that. I just rather put my beauty and the fragrance and skincare and everything in a vlog because it's more fun to talk about. Maybe I'll try to integrate it into a fashion video. I haven't figured it out yet. I just miss talking about it because I love that too, right? I appreciate everybody that's new here. Thank you so much for being new. I met with you guys at Saks Off Fifth. It's always a pleasure to meet you guys. Always come talk to me. It was a little embarrassing because the Jackson 5 was playing and I was dancing around and then I hear a voice. <laughs> that says they watch me on YouTube, so if I look the fool, sorry about that. <laughs> I told you guys this before. I get so shocked that people even watch. And I appreciate it. I appreciate the comments and the love. And when you share, I, I just... I'm just very appreciative that people watch it. Because there are a lot of people that put a lot of work into their videos on YouTube that people don't watch. The fact that one person, never mind almost 7,000 people we have on this channel, watch, it, it blows my mind. And it's funny because... A lot of times creators think that that's not that much because there's people that have millions of subscribers and 100,000. But when I think there's 7,000 people that take their time, that took the time to subscribe and the thousands of people that watch, I'm just, I'm forever grateful. So thank you for that. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.